A great stocks game changer happens overnight, which could help or hurt share prices. What would lower US inflation mean for Aussie interest rates? And the CBA has reported, will it be good or bad news for shareholders? I'm Peter Switzer. I'm Paul Rickard. And we're we're mad mad about money. Paul, I've been waiting for August 10 US time for a long time. Yeah, you're one of the most excited people about August 10. That's US time, right? (laughs) Exactly. Because I think this inflation number is going to be critically important. Remember the last number we got, June, 9.1%. The market's expecting about 8.8, 8.7%. If they get it, do you think the market will be happy about that, Paul? Yeah, for folks, if you haven't got it, this is the July uh, US uh, CPI, so yeah. Consumer Price Index. Uh, every other number's been going up. This one the market thinks could just come down a touch yeah. based on lower oil prices and a few other things happening. Mm. Uh, yeah, I think if it comes in okay, the, I, I think the market will... I'm not sure the market's going to take off, Peter, but I think it's not. It's going to pause and say, yep, we're going to go back to earnings yeah. and a few other things. And we're right about and we're having right a rally. We're right about having the rally. Mm. And uh, if it's negative, if it's back at 9%, Ooh. I think the market's going to say, sorry, that was a bear market rally, guys. Yeah. And we're going to go back and do some work lower down. So That's right. they are expecting <clears throat> a better number, and so the risk is the other way. The other risk, of course, is that every single inflation number globally mm. since January has been worse than expected, yeah. right? Yeah. So, you know, you. Do the odds suggest maybe the fact that they're expecting better? I don't know. We're yeah. going to find out tonight. I always thought the US came out of the, the lockdown pandemic better than most e- economies, and they've been ahead of the curve. They got their vaccinations probably before a lot of mm-hmm. other countries as well. So I think that's going to be the interesting timing thing. As long as it's less, better than 9.1%, the market will be okay. But Paul, if it comes at like a low 8% number or even a high 7 I think the market would really get excited and rip raw up. I think so, but I think you're getting a little carried away there, Pete. Probably so, one month uh, ahead of myself. Yeah. So yeah, I, think, I think even in the you know, 9 is not percent the market will probably just pull back a little bit. Yeah. It does want a better number, but yeah. the risk is probably the other way, Pete. But yeah. you're right. Um, you know, it's really confirmation of the rally's been correct or mm. hang on, guys, this was a bear market yeah. rally. And that's why I think and it's exciting because yep. if, if, if the rally continues, then you're right. It wasn't a bear mark rally, uh, rally. It was the bottoming of the, of the bear market and we're coming out. Keep your fingers crossed on that. Now, Paul, let's imagine uh, it's a reasonable number and then the expectation is that August will be even better. That could slow the Fed up. What do you think it could have to Aussie yeah, interest Yeah, I rates? think it probably could also just make... Uh, the Australian RBA just slow down a touch too because we're playing follow the leader here, right? I mean, yeah. Phil Lowe's never been on top of this. No. He's reacted to the market. He's reacted to what's going on in the US. We're catching up, mm. you know. So um, I think people, the, the central bank view has always been, because they all didn't see this coming, right, yeah. that this is sort of transitory. Yeah. Um, and so the first confirmation that things are turning around and some of their policy work might, you know, oil prices slowing down, food prices pulling off, logistics costs, Maybe not, you know, there's been some numbers there suggesting yeah. things like, you know, some of the shipping rates have come down. Yeah. Import prices from yeah. China are coming down too. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, that, that would be confirmation. I think that might just lead to look more like a you know, a quarter percent next time here as yeah. opposed to go hard. So yeah. uh, it does have an impact on us, Pete. It has an impact as well because that's it, the, the US bond market was, is on tender hooks about this. Yeah. Uh, and our bonds will follow, and our bonds will follow in the same way. So US inflation coming down is good news for the Australian share market as well. Yeah, I should throw in uh, Kathy Wood, who's the uh, fund manager at ARK Innovation Fund, which is a, a, a big tech fund. She reckons America is going to see a very f- quick fall in inflation. Not this month, but probably in the months following. But she would say that because she wants she tech stock prices to go up. up. But, you know, that's what happens, right? But yeah. um, look out this morning. It's the third item, CBA. Uh, yeah. 9.6 is the cash profit. That's about $200 million better than expected, Pete. Um, but it's really on the back of still negative bad debts, right? So yeah. uh, there are no bad debts. In fact, there yeah. are right backs. What are negative bad debts? Well, Paul? it's the opposite of having a bad debt. You're right. <laughs> you actually book a, out of book profit because you write back the fact you've provided for a bad a bad debt during COVID. Yep. Turns out that you don't incur that bad debt, so you have to book an entry back into profit. Yeah. And that's why their profit is so high today. So operating performance is up about 3%. That's the right number to look at. And not a huge improvement this half versus last half, but a slightly more positive view about the net interest margin going forward. Yep. So I think the market's probably going to be okay with it. Dividend two dollars ten takes three eighty five to the full year. That's about on expectations. Interesting enough, the payout ratio is relatively low. It's only about sixty eight percent. But what CBA has said is that they're actually normalising yeah. 
uh, the bad debts. So it's about 75% if you normalise it for normal bad debts. So they're keeping some money in a site. They realise there are more bad debts. This won't go on forever. Yeah, yeah. Right? Rising interest rate is going yeah, to hurt some yeah, businesses. Yeah. And, and so they're, they're normalising it for that. So I think that's, you'd say that's conservative and yeah. prudent. Yeah. Um, NAB result yesterday was a bit on the weak side. Banks got sold off. I think the market's going to say, okay, this is probably okay. I'm not saying we're going to have a huge rally in CBO today, but I think a little bit on the positive yeah. side because uh, this is a stock people want to own. There's yeah. no reason to sell it. Uh, there's nothing bad going on, and it's basically tick the box. And if you use $3.85 as the actual cash dividend over the year, and you look at the share price around 100 this is about a 3.85% yield with franking credits. It's still a good dividend play, and that's why a lot of people buy CBA around these prices. When it drops to 60 then it's a growth I, play. I think, you know, that, look, you just see it every time the market drops, it's the first stock the institutions buy, right? Yeah. And, and they're buying it basically because they know it's the safest, right? Yeah. Uh, and um, that's just the reality. And NAB's result yesterday, so it was a touch disappointing. You know, ANZ's got its own problems, Westpac's got its problems, they're cheap. Mm. Uh, but it's the first stock that comes back. So I'm not suggesting they're going to rush in and, and take a lot higher today, but I don't think there's any reason to sell it. That'd be my initial reaction. I haven't, we haven't seen the analyst briefing, but mm. uh, looking at the numbers, I'd say you're going to see that. Uh, and I could have egg on my total all over my face tomorrow, folks, but I'd say you're going to see CBO high today. Yeah, and he doesn't look particularly good with egg all over his face. I'm Peter Smith. No. <laughs> I'm Peter Smith. I'm Paul Rickard. And we're, we're mad, mad about, about money. money. Shh.